Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of How to Hack Ethical Web Series. Today, we are going to explain how hacker take control of your systems in seconds. Let's explain the dangerous USB attack. Disclaimer, don't do anything illegal with this. Usage of rubber duckies for attacking targets without prior mutual consent is illegal. It is the end user's responsibility to obey all applicable local, provincial, state and federal laws. USB devices are very convenient. Whenever we want to store little amounts of data, we tend to use a USB stick. Nowadays almost everyone owns one and that we usually trust it to be safe. Nonetheless several of the officers have disabled the use of USB on their devices. USB keys are one of the common ways to do industrial spying. However, attacks against random civilians and firms also are common attacks can be done very easily even the victim won't be aware that have been fully compromised. How do they do it? What are those attacks? Here is a list of the many things that can be done with a simple USB key. 1. Take remote control over the victim's device. 2. Spy on people through their webcam, microphone and keyboard, example, screen share, webcam stream and key scan dump. 3. Harvest credentials and personal information. 4. Encrypting data and demand a ransom from the victim. 5. Erase, modify or inject data and code. 6. Destroy hardware. 7. Stealing important documents. Once the attackers know their victim and what they need to do, as the list above, they must select the suitable payload for their USB drive. Attackers can put themselves a malware inside a USB key, but they can also buy already ready USB key. For example, rubber ducky or bash bunny sticks, which performs more conventional attacks like reverse shell implementation. Be aware that any kind of device with a USB port can be used to spread malware. It is cheap to buy bad USB from the market for less than $45. Then the attackers need a way for their USB drive to be plugged in the victim's machine. They can do it themselves or use social engineering to make someone else do it without this individual being aware of it. USB sticks can be dropped inside the streets. USB drop attack in offices, put in the mailbox are given as a gift in the course of events. As a commoner, they simply going to pick it up and use it. When the USB stick is plugged in, malware will be executed immediately whereas other kinds need the user to click on a file to be surreptitiously launched. Malicious code can be hidden in directories, images or any sorts of files and the stick can even pose as a keyboard to avoid detection. How they create USB rubber ducky attack scripts? A ducky script is an instruction guide for the bad USB. It mimics a keyboard, typing in keystrokes to run various commands on the target computer as soon as it is plugged in. Let's say for example, we have to create a ducky script that opens up the notepad in victim's machine and types, you have been hacked. On a normal keyboard, the steps would be, press the Windows logo plus R to open up the run dialog box. Type notepad.x and press enter. Type, you have been hacked in the notepad, that's all. The ducky script for the above process would be very simple as displayed. Yes, this can be simply compiled and converted into an attack payload using Duck Toolkit website. Just upload this ducky script and then convert it into inject.bin. Just watch this demo. So I'm going to go to encoder and I'm going to paste the script here. So there's my script. I need to select the keyboard that I'm using. Won't work. Click in code. We're told that we should only use this for network auditing and security analysis purposes. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click download inject.bin file is the actual compiled or encoded. So what I need to do now is take the SD card and put it into this thumb drive and put that into the computer. I'm not going to scan the drive. All I'm going to do is copy the inject.bin file and paste that onto the USB drive. Now I need in the root of the USB thumb drive, make sure that you safely remove the USB thumb drive. If you don't do that, you may have problems. Okay, so I'll take this out. And what I'll do now is put this into the USB rubber ducky and I'll cover it just to make it easier to handle. So cover it like that. So I'll put it in here 
And what you should notice is Notepad starts up and some text is written. Inject.bin is a payload for the rubber ducky USB stick. Once we place inject.bin in the USB it is ready for the attack. As soon as victim plugs in the USB stick this payload will be launched without immediately. Okay how to create your own USB rubber ducky? In order to create our own USB rubber ducky, we'll be using Arduino. For this, we'll be using an Arduino Leonardo Bad USB. This very cheap to buy less than $15 from the market. Apart from this, we'll be needing an Arduino IDE and a tool to convert our ducky scripts into an Arduino understandable code, or you can write your own Arduino code, it's fairly simple too. Creating a USB rubber ducky from Arduino is extremely simple. After writing your ducky script, or getting one of the pre-written scripts, use the Decuano website to convert the ducky script into Arduino understandable code. Follow the below steps. As displayed, open up Arduino IDE and from Tools, Board Greater Than and select your Arduino board, USB. Then from Tools, Port Greater Than select the port on which the Arduino is connected. Open up a new project, paste in your Arduino converted ducky script, and then from Sketch Greater Than select Verify, Compile or press CTRL plus R. After the compilation is done, from Sketch Greater Than select Upload or press CTRL plus U to upload the code to the Arduino USB. The USB rubber ducky is ready to use. Disconnect the Arduino USB and connect it again to see it working. Demo 1. For the sake of demonstration, my ducky script will open up the notepad and display a type in some random text. Demo 2. Now let's try and get a reverse shell of the target machine. Modifying our ducky script so that it downloads our malware onto the target machine, and executes it giving us a reverse shell of the target. The malware was created using MSF Venom, with the following command, $MSF Venom P Windows, Meter Prita, Reverse Underscore TCPLHOST equals LPORT equals Exit Funk equals Thread FX greater than Game.x. A web server is running on port 80, so that our bad USB may easily download the malware. How to prevent ourselves from USB attacks? 1. Don't plug it in if you find any dropped or unknown USBs. 2. Block USB ports. 3. Disable USB ports. 4. Analyzing devices. 5. Use no connection to LAN or WAN and no personal info. 6. Wipe it after. 7. Red team deployments. 8. Educating employees. That's all for today guys. Hope this video helps. We publish ethical hacking learning videos every week. Please subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.